Hello, everybody, and welcome to Milestone Study. My name is Anusha, and I'm back after a long time. I'm really excited to announce that now our website is almost ready for all of you to use. So if you want to use our website, milestonestudy.com.au for your PTE preparation, please message us now and get the subscription. In this video, my primary focus will be drag and drop reading questions, okay? So we'll learn some grammar rules, we'll learn some vocabulary and the techniques in order to solve the fill in the blanks like a pro. Before we move ahead, please don't forget to subscribe to our channel right away and like this video because obviously this is going to be a great one. It's going to give you a great value. So let's begin. Let's. I've already opened this website here uh, from our website. If you go into practice tab, read uh, speaking, writing, reading and listening, all these questions are already set, ready for you to use. There's a mock test tab, prediction files, it's upcoming. We still need to do some work there. Study materials is already set except grammar. Pronunciation is coming up next and grammar is also being worked out. Um, mock test already there, okay? Marking is there, showing analysis is there. Let's move ahead into our question, reading FIB. This question gives us reading marks only and each individual blank equals one mark. For example, in this paragraph, you see three different blanks. That means we get three marks from here, okay? If you get all correct. If you don't, then there is no negative marking. So don't be scared of just choosing anything random if you are unsure. Now, I'm going to pick a random number from here. Let's see, whichever I feel like. All right, it's a short paragraph. So first of all, as soon as you get into a paragraph, Instead of reading out this passage from the top, I'll just check from the bottom, okay, from the options, if I understand these words and if I know the parts of speech. Parts of speech are very important. Parts of speech means uh, noun, verb, adjective, adverb, preposition, conjunctions, okay? So here in the first blank, the first word is persists. Persists is V5, which means it's a verb. Reflex V5, decline V1. Decline can also be used as a noun. Dispassionate is any word ending with A-T-E. Write this down. Any word ending with A-T-E is almost always an adjective. And when we here see this dis, okay, it's a prefix dis, D-I-S. It's a negative word. Dispassionate, that means not passionate. Stage, we know stage is... Uh, kind of like a platform or stage can also be used as verb one. Disproportionate means it's out of proportion. Uh, there is no balance kind of thing. Okay. And again, ending with A-T-E uh, has D-I-S. Okay. So let's have a look. Parents lose the most sleep. Oh, also uh, take care of the timing here. Okay. We started at one something. Um, I've just lost it. Okay. So let's restart. Parents lose the most sleep during the first three months with a new baby, obviously, because as a mother, I know it's hard to sleep with a baby. <laughs> with mothers losing about an hour of sleep each night and fathers losing a dash 13 minutes. Okay, now look at this blank, okay? Uh, I know some of you do not need these grammar rules in detail, okay? So if you don't need it, just fast forward. When you see this, oh, uh, that means we need a word with a consonant sound, okay? Consonant, consonant. Now, unfortunately, all of these are consonant sound. But we also know that we might actually need a noun or an adjective, okay? Here in the blank. So let's have a look. And fathers losing a persists 30 minute, 13 minutes, persists is a verb, reflex, doesn't make sense, a decline 13 minutes, a dispassionate 13 minutes, a stage 13 minutes, or a disproportionate 13 minutes. Now I'm quite sure that it's either disproportionate 13 minutes or dispassionate 13 minutes. Okay, out of these two, one is correct. But I'm not gonna choose it yet because maybe I don't know the meaning of this word. Okay, so I'll keep it for now. This dash in sleep quality, mm, so what happened to sleep quality? Look at the word after in, 
Okay, the sleep quality, what happened to the quality of the sleep? It obviously decreased. The time decreased. That means the decline in sleep quality. Okay, the sleep quality reduced. Now, this decline is actually being used as a noun. Okay, after this, you need a noun. I'm, I'm randomly giving you these rules. Okay, guys, so you're supposed to write it down. After this, we need a noun and decline can be used as a noun. This decline in sleep quality and quantity for adults dash until the child is about six years old. For adults persists. Persists means remains. So I know the verb or the meaning of the word. That's why I could get it right away. Okay, persists. Now, for this one, losing a dash 13 minutes, losing a stage and reflex, obviously wrong. Okay, so... Uh, I would, I feel that it's related to number. So that's why it's disproportionate. Now, why is it uh, in terms of number? Because mother's losing one hour of sleep, but father's only losing 13 minutes of sleep. That's unfair on women, isn't it? But what shall we do? So disproportionate because it's not in balance. Why women losing a lot of time? Let's see the answer. Bingo. So disproportionate, decline and persist. Okay. Now, passion was not the main idea. The idea was women losing a lot of time and uh, fathers losing lesser time. Okay. So that's it, guys. This one we solved using some vocabulary words, using some knowledge of grammar and some contextual knowledge. Let's go on to 91. Okay. Now we got another question. Disturbances is a noun in plural form. Signaled, verb, V2 or V3. Severely is adverb. Impaired, adjective or could be verb in V2 form or V3 form. Consumed is V3 form. Communicably is LY, so adverb straight away. Property is a noun, okay? Words ending with TY is uh, a noun. Property, priority, society, uh, and all those TY words. Now, let's have a look at the context. Most people are aware that excessive and chronic drinking can dash impact their physical and mental health. Huh. Now, grammatically, to define how much it's going to impact, we need an adverb. Impact, but how? Less impact, a lot of impact. So, Obviously, when you are drinking a lot of alcohol, it's going to affect a lot as well. So we need to choose a word which says a lot and severely is the only choice. Okay, severely means a lot. Now, next one. But the exact effects will depend on the amount of alcohol consumed. No joke. Yeah, okay, no drama. Because you consume alcohol, you consume food. So amount on the... How much it's going to affect you will depend on how much of alcohol you consume and how frequently someone drinks it. If you drink it every day, it's going to affect a lot. This can lead to dash coordination. Okay, now straight away, if you want to learn the grammar here, you need an adjective as it is the blank is right before the noun. Okay, there's a noun. Coordination is a noun. And just right before that, there's a blank. So here we need an adjective. However, some will ask me, how do you know, ma'am? that this is a noun. I know it because any word ending with T-I-O-N is a noun, okay? So write it down. Any word ending with T-I-O-N is a noun. So this can lead to what kind of coordination? Good coordination or bad? Obviously bad coordination. One, I know because alcohol does not do good to our body. Another, in the paragraph itself, it's giving us some negative words. So slurred speech, slowed reflexes, blackouts, they are all negative, okay? So we need to find a word which is a negative adjective. So I would suggest that it's impaired coordination. Impaired means, you know, like a um, disbalance, okay? Impairment, impairment, like a disability. Heavy drinking can lead to other problems such as sleep disturbances, Again, no drama because either sleep disorders, sleep problems, or sleep disturbances. Okay, let's find out. Bingo again. All right, next one. Hmm. 
Hmm. From the gentlest, oh, sorry, sorry. First, we have to see this. Debates is a noun in plural form. Shaping, V4. Shape, shaping, shaped, shapes. Observed, uh, verb, motion, noun, T-I-O-N. Business noun. N-E-S-S, words ending with N-E-S-S, noun. Observing, I-N-G. So it's a, uh, what is it? It's a verb ing, okay? Allowed distributes. These are all verbs, but different forms, okay? V1, V2, V3, V4, V5. They are used in different forms, different types of blanks. Hmm. So from the gentlest of breezes to the raging winds of a category five hurricane. Hurricane can be sometimes gentle, can have sometimes bigger impact. That's what they're saying in the first line. The atmosphere is constantly in dash, in motion. That could be one possibility because they are constantly moving. Okay? The atmosphere is constantly moving, whether it's slow or uh, fast. The energy for all that movement, uh, I have another hint. It says movement. So if I read it further, I'll get better hint. Comes from sunlight. That is dash and re-radiated by the surface of the earth. So what happens to the energy that comes from the sunlight? Okay. Now, the energy for all that movement comes from sunlight that is observed by the surface of the earth is one possibility. Okay. Observe means to take in. And the rotation of the earth. Atmospheric circulation along with... Now, as I'm reading this, I'm imagining the situation, okay? So, I'm imagining the sun, the energy coming from the sun and the surface of the earth, observing it, observing the energy. So, atmospheric circulation, that means air moving around, along with ocean circulation, dash heat across the entire surface of the earth. Now, what happens to the heat? Okay. Uh, distributes heat. Because it just spreads out heat as it is circulating. Heat, like it's like, for example, you turn on the heater. Obviously, when you turn on the heater, it is concentrated in one place. But as the air circulates, the heat will be transferred to the rest of the room. So the circulation will distribute the heat across the entire surface of the earth, bringing us our daily weather and dash regional climates. And so bringing us our daily weather and shaping regional climates. Because now here I used one rule of ING, okay? You have ING here. So this end is going to join that bringing and shaping, bringing and shaping, like um, receiving and giving, taking and giving, okay? Uh, but not observing climates. This is going to help us in bringing this weather like hot and cold and also shapes our regional climate. So let's see if we got this right. Wow. Okay. So easy peasy. Okay. Next one. But look, I'm going to obviously take a little longer time than usual. You're supposed to finish it in two minutes or less. Okay. But I'm explaining as well. That's why we are taking three minutes to explain one paragraph. Now, huh? three blanks, but six options. Spectrum is a noun. Okay, spectrum means a range. Okay, like a rainbow. Mm, it has different spectrum. Okay, of the colors. Uh, authorizing. Uh, also, uh, spectrum means you know how intense it is and how soft it is. Authorizing. Uh, verb ing treating verb ing history is a noun involving ing contaminating ing i know all the word meanings so hopefully it's going to help me a deliberate event is an act deliberate means something intentional okay um a deliberate event is an act or threat dash the intentional release of hazardous substances to cause harm i'm lost okay so i'm going to read it again a deliberate event is an act or threat involving the intentional release of hazardous substances to cause harm. Yes. So um, it's a threat that will cause some harm. Okay. So in simple terms, I understand that. Now, why am I choosing involving here? Because obviously this event involves substances to be released. Okay. Deliberate events cover a wide range of, I. this is a collocation, a wide range, but but there is no word such as range, okay? So another way, 
I can solve this is choosing spectrum because as I said all earlier, spectrum means a range, a wide spectrum of intent and public health consequences. Um, one other reason is wide is an adjective. So after an adjective, we need a noun. Okay, here we go. Simple rule. Then they can be on a small scale such as dash a few samples of a product to extort money from a retailer such as dash uh, such as stealing such as contaminating yes so something negative again i need a negative word how do i know i need a negative word because extort money is a negative one okay extorting means kind of like stealing okay so if it could be very small or it could be very large so contaminating is the only um possible option from my point of view, which is correct. Okay, let's do one more and I'll have to leave to bring my kid from the childcare. As the game dash the digital world. As the game dash the digital world. Hmm. So this time I'm a bit caught because embedded, amassed, these are a little refrained. These are a little bit intimidating word words uh so as the game dash the digital world chess has continued to grow and is now eagerly consumed by all generations meanwhile some of the sports very best players have dash huge social media followings by streaming games online very best players have gained have amassed okay so somehow i feel that like mass means gathering okay the game is so dash in the public's consciousness. The game is so embedded, embedded uh, from my subconscious mind. I know that embed comes within, embedded in, uh, that there is now even such a thing as a chess influencer. Okay, so I'm just wanna, um, gonna make this one right as the game contributes the digital world. No, as the game defined the digital, no, re re embraces. Okay. Very easy. Now, why very easy? I said, because the game is singular. This is singular. Obviously, we need V5 in the present tense because after that, there is a present tense. Okay. In fact, all this is present perfect or either present. So I cannot say that as the game defined the digital world, as the game reframed the digital world, they all in the past tense. I need a present tense. So even if I don't know for 100%, I can still. Uh, just guesswork and then try it. Okay, let's see. Okay, so these are all correct, guys. Thank you so much. Now, from our website, what else you can do is you can also go into this collocations and vocabulary. Okay, so let's have a look at collocation. If you are purchasing our subscription, you need to know how to use these features. Okay, yeah, you can see my collocation list. Now, here's 200 here a total entry is 2469 now these are all like you see i said a wide range of okay let's try and find a wide range of see a wide array area a wide array a wide range a wide variation widely accepted so these are all collocations that's how i got to know that it's it's somehow wide spectrum okay spectrum broad spectrum political spectrum now broad is another meaning for wide that's why learning collocations are gonna help you get better at your reading okay but some of you might say oh this is a lot of 2000 entries i cannot read at once nobody's asking you to read it at once why am i going this way okay nobody's asking you to read it at once take it take your time maybe 100 a day increase the dose maybe 200 tomorrow okay keep doing if you are weak at reading and you want to improve there is no magical trick okay so one is collocation the next is vocabulary okay so let me show you now that you have a vocabulary list that you can go to and then how you can improve um so here is the list of vocabulary Okay, so vocabulary, again, there are a thousand entries, okay, thousand words. And these are not like random dictionary words. These are words that are important in an, any PTE or IELTS test, okay, like an English test. So abdominal, 
parts of speech is given adjective concerned with dash okay just learn 10 words a day just learn 10 words if you know two of them already then go into next page and learn two more okay tomorrow come back learn 10 more okay adaptive at least you know what word type it is what parts of speech it is okay so acidic acid is a noun acidic is adjective activate is a verb but actively is adverb okay that's how you can improve your reading guys and as I said, grammar is coming up soon. Pronunciation is also coming up soon. For now, I have to head on and get my child from the childcare. As I said, if you are interested in taking our classes, you are a beginner or you have already taken your test but failed many times or you, wanna, you want some expert guidance, you can start by booking appointment with us, uh, getting to know your level, getting to know where you're making your mistakes. If you need more detailed feedback, then classes are also available both online and physical. Don't go without subscribing to this channel. Thank you so much. I'll see you next week.